citizens of Israel, I begin by sending condolences to the families of the victims of the heinous attack in Jaffa and wishing a full recovery to the injured. Just like in the missile attack, there is a guiding and murderous hand behind this attack as well. It comes from Tehran. This evening, Iran once again attacked Israel with hundreds of missiles. This attack failed. It was thwarted thanks to Israel's air defense system, which is the most advanced in the world. And I commend the IDF for this impressive achievement. It was also thwarted thanks to the vigilance and responsibility you, citizens of Israel, have shown. And I also thank the U.S. for its support in our defense effort. Iran made a big mistake this evening, and it will pay for it. The regime in Iran does not understand our determination to defend ourselves and our resolve to retaliate against our enemies. Sinwar and Daif did not understand this. Nasrallah and Mosan did not understand this. And apparently there are those in Tehran who do not understand this. They will understand. We will stand by the principle we set. Whoever attacks us, we attack them. This is true everywhere we fight the axis of evil. This is true for Judea and Samaria. This is true for Gaza, for Lebanon, for Yemen, for Syria. And this is also true for Iran. We fight the axis of evil everywhere, including our heroic soldiers who are now operating in southern Lebanon and in Gaza. Today, more than ever, the forces of light in the world must unite and act together against the dark regime of the Ayatollahs, which is the source of terror and evil in our region. They must stand with Israel. The choice has never been clearer between tyranny and freedom, between blessing and curse. On the eve of Rosh Hashanah, I tell you, citizens of Israel, Israel is on the rise. The axis of evil is in retreat. We will do whatever it takes to continue this trend, achieve all war objectives, foremost among them, the return of all our captives, and to ensure our existence and our future. A good and open year to all of you, warmly.